Hey everybody, welcome to a new quick look. This is Brewmaster, the beer brewing simulator. Now, I have <laughs> very few joys in life. One of them though, consuming ales. Mighty fine ales even. And I like quite a variety. I like, you know, I like the pale ales. Although, you know, you can start with the citron mosaic hops by now. IPAs, also I'm pretty fond of, you know, stouts and porters. Give me, you know, a cold beer garden plus a high alcohol percentage, like maybe an, even an imperial porter, and I'm a happy camper. Anyway, without further ado, let's check this game out. At free play mode, a sandbox mode in which all items disable the shooter in brewmaster mode, uh, or brewmaster mode. In this mode, you'll learn the, the brew, complete jobs and enter competitions, and progress through a story that will make you a true brewmaster. Recommended for new players, absolutely. Okay, some helpful thing there about beer being a liquid of, I don't know, if the gods maybe was the rest of it. Welcome, brewer. We're about to take our first steps into the world of home brewing. I stepped into that world before IRL. A world packed with creativity, discovery, and most of all, excellent beers. Brewing is an art with endless possibilities, where true mastery can take a lifetime. Yet, at its heart, it's wonderfully simple. Anyone can pick up a brew pot, throw a few ingredients together, and create a tasty, thirst-quenching beer to share with friends and family. Always be worried though when someone tries to share you with their home brew beer, because if it was any good, they'd just be supping it all themselves. Uh, so that's exactly what you should do first. Let's get brewing. Brew a beer using the extract brewing method. Okay. Oh my God. I can move around. I have this lovely little, oh, this little stool so I can take my shoes off. Buy a nice warm radiator. Oh, perfect. Uh, well, odd place for a switch, but sure. Actually, I say odd place. You come in, immediately turn around, turn the lights on. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Would have preferred a bigger window, but you know. Oh my God, it's actually lovely in here. Oh, look at the light as well being, you know, let through by the, uh, I want to call it a sunroof window. What are these actually called? I, I can never remember. Uh, nice little coffee table. These sofas are a little bit too small for me now in my old age. Honestly, if I sit into this chair, I'm not ever getting back up again. I, I'm just stuck down here. Also, too many cushions for my liking. Like, come on, I need, I, I need a little bit more bum room here. Uh, anyway, lovely wood burner stove. Little wingback chair, very nice, very cozy. And look at this kitchen. This kitchen is bigger than my house, IRL. Oh, we've got a little own dingy, like, pub corner. Oh my God, this is the house of my dreams. You, you brew all your delicious ales in here, the nice warm kitchen. And then when your mates come around, you sit in this dingy place and talk about how life used to be, you know, good in the good old days. Anyway, let's actually brew some beer now. Equipment cupboard. The, uh, the storage screen is where you can retrieve equipment or ingredients that you own. The items shown depends on which storage area you've opened. For example, the equipment cupboard contains tools and containers. To retrieve an item, select the items icon and press the retrieve button. The item will be added to your inventory, which you'll carry around with you. A brew pot small, 25 litre, okay, that is pretty small. The signs of use on this pot are not damaged, but the honourable battle scars of a veteran. It has years of service yet to offer. Perfect. Okay, uh, escape back out. Where do you want me to take this to? You want me to fill it with water? Understood. Or clean it. Okay, it's, it's clean now, right? Place it in the sink. Oh, stow item F. Unstow item. Place is left click. I get you, sorry. Uh, and we need to put on a little bit of water. I hope you need to open the lid. Uh. <laughs> I see now. 
You can use your watch T to accelerate time. No, let's do this IRL. I want to do this in real time. God, we could have done with a more powerful tap. This is unbelievably slow. This is glacial even. But you know what? We can listen to some tunes. Actually, this might be copyright. Let's not do that. A kitchen hob. We have our calendar. Not available at this part of the tutorial. Okay, I've lost sound of the water. But that's fine. That's still being filled up. Also, show x-ray. Oh, gee, sorry. Ah, I can get all the full stats of the liquid. Perfect. Uh, anything else that I missed in here? Little shells where I can store my homebrew produce. Oh, is it a UK-based game? This is a UK plug outlets. We have a nice ingredient cupboard. No bedroom, I've noticed. But you know what? You don't need to sleep. We can sleep on the couch. We brew in the kitchen, we drink the brew, we fall asleep on the couch by the wood burner. Man, that sounds like the life for me. Some cleaning equipment. Okay, you know what? Let's speed up time a little bit. Uh, scroll. There you go. Okay, it's overflowing. That's fine. Right. Remove brew pot from the kitchen sink and place it on the kitchen hob. Right, we're going to have to be very careful with this. There's 25 litres of water and it's filled to the broom. Perfect. Uh, only heat tolerant containers can be placed in the heating tools, such as the hob. Heat pot, small kitchen. Let's go. Turn on. Whilst the water heats, you can add our first ingredients. Some ingredients need to be stored cold to maintain freshness. These are found in the fridge freezer. Also, other ingredients are kept in the ingredients cupboard. Light malt, amber malt. Malt extracts are syrupy liquids packed with fermentable sugars and yeasts. Sorry, that yeast will eventually turn into alcohol. Delicious, sweet alcohol. The problem and solution to all of life's problems. As the Simpsons famous have said, during the fermentation stage, they'll also add flavours to your brew. Give me or any malt extract, make me an amber ale, please. Sweet malt and caramel dominate the flavour profile. The most overtly sweet of any extracts. Uh, I will confirm that. Thank you. Oh, is this boiling? Uh, maybe I should have put the lid on it to, <laughs> to help it boil. Add two, two kilograms. Holy shit, I need way more. Sorry, I need more. Retrieve. Uh, I need two kilograms. And, oh God. Okay, we'll just hold the rest of it with me. Or can we, whatever. Two kilos. Pour it in. Uh, go. Decrease or increase? Ah, scroll wheel. Uh, can I port this a bit close to the container? That's fine. The water overflow is completely reasonable. There you go. That's just how I did it when I made my own homebrew. There we go. Note to self in the future, don't giga fill your container. <laughs> the temperature is now going back down. Please reattach the lid and let's get that boiling. Place that in the fridge, place that back in the fridge. Wonderful. Retrieve bag of steepable grain from the ingredients cupboard. Steepable grains are kept in mesh bags so they can be easily added and removed when brewing. They're used in extract brewing to add flavor, body and color to your beer. Ultra Pale Crystal or Vienna Crystal. Steeping this in boil adds sweet caramel and toffee flavours. 
But subtle notes of dark fruit in the background. Flavor notes, caramel 10, toffee 8, dried fruit 8. Delicious. How much do I need, sorry? 500 grams. 500, really? Okay, it's a lot. Tip, water is the name of sugary liquid created either by adding malt extracts to water in all grain brewing or by mashing grains in hot water. I'm aware of what wort is. Uh, clip, steeple grains to blue brew pot. Right. I need to remove the lid a second. Place item. And attach the lid again. Oh, you can't right now. Boil the wort in the small pot. Continue heating the, the brew pot until the wort is boiling around 100 degrees C. Uh, you can use your watch to accelerate time. All right, this is gonna take, can I, can I put it on a higher setting please? Can I put it on max? Oh, whatever, we'll wait. There we go. The longest I've ever seen water take to boil. Retrieve one bag of bittering hops and one bag of British hops. Uh, the two main purposes of hops are to add flavour and bitterness to your beers. The amount of bitterness is determined by the alpha acid content, the AAC. The higher the AAC, the more bitterness the hops will add. The longer hops are boiled, the more bitterness and flavours they'll add, but flavours begin to boil off after a time. Whilst bitterness continues to climb, this is why bittering hops exist. These are mainly used for bittering and are boiled for longer, whilst flavour hops are added near the end of the boil. Retrieve 20 grams of any bittering hops and 50 grams of any British hops. Okay. Magnus and Marauder. Uh, pepper and herbal, pine and resin. You know what? Give me a little bit of pine and resin. I need 50 grams, what's that? Of the bittering? No, 20 grams of bittering. And 50 of the British hops. Grass, woody, earthy, mint and floral. Nope. Pine, cedar, floral, berry. Uh, sure, we'll go with the polar down. Dual purpose variety hops with crisp and clean character emphasized by pine and cedar notes. And we need 50 grams of this bad boy. All right. Add the bag of bitten tops, Marauder Magnus, to the boiling wort. Wait. Which one's which again? Marauder, pull it down. So we want Marauder. Continue boiling the wort for 50 minutes and add the British hops. Okay. So let's speed time up a little bit. So I need to get to like one, quarter past one. Okay, I, I went a little bit early there. There you go. And now we add this. Perfect. Continue to boil for 10 minutes, then remove all bags and turn off the hob. So 24 is what we're waiting for now. There we go. Okay, went a bit too quick. Remove bag, remove bag, remove bag. Uh, brew beer using expert brewing methods. We, we, we've removed all the bags, right? Continue to boil for 10 minutes and remove all the bags and turn off... Oh, turn off the hop, sorry. Brewing a beer... Blah, blah, blah. Wait until the brew pot small is at a temperature of 21 degrees or lower. All right. It is vital to cool the wort before adding yeast. Yeah, otherwise you're gonna kill your yeast. Use the calendar to advance time by a day. Ah. Uh, can I toss this shit in the trash can? Because we don't need it anymore, we've used it. Uh, one day, please. Okay, retrieve fermentation stuff from here. Uh, fermentation containers can be found here. Fermentation containers are used in the fermenta fermentation stage of brewing when yeast turns sugar into alcohol and CO2. Note the attached airlock. This is so that the CO2 can escape, preventing any 
Unfortunate container explosions. Yep, pretty useful. Uh, compact in size and great for space conscious brewers. This has the same key features as its large cousins. You can also, if you don't have a gas like valve at the top of yours, like if you're just using a bucket, just don't fully clip the lid down and the lid will just pop up a little bit to release the gas. Just don't like, you know, fucking seal it down and you, you know, let the cartoons and just nail it on the lid. Don't do that or you will cause an explosion. Anyway, retrieve, please. And where are we storing this, bad boy? Let's pour the water into the fermentation container. Where, am I doing this on the kitchen side? Or do I just take it to this? There's not enough space. How about here? That'll do. Oops. <laughs> uh, pour into E. Uh, have I done it? Oh my god. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Remove his lid. You here for a second. Nope. You here for a second. Let me remove the lids here. So there we go. Then we get this again. And now, pour into. There we go. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Don't lose any of the precious wart. What a master pourer. There we go. Retrieve a packet of yeast from the freezer. Actually, you need to go in here now. You're going to need to be cleaned. Uh, freezer. Yeast are another ingredient that must be stored cold. It can be found here. Yeast is crucial in the brewing process as it turns fermentable sugars into CO2. And best of all, alcohol. It will add its own unique flavours to your beer during this process. Attenuation is the yeast efficacy. How much of the fermentable sugars it will convert into alcohol and CO2. The remainder will be unfermentable sugars. For yeast to ferment, the wort must be within its optimal temperature. Outside of this, the yeast will start to hibernate or even die. This is why cooling the wort before adding yeast is vital. Okay, so Carl Ale. I'm pretty certain, yeah, they have an alcohol tolerance as well because at, at some point the alcohol uh, content of your beer will start to kill your yeast as well. So you can get yeast which tolerate higher alcohol percentage if you want to make a stronger beer. Okay, so you can only go to 10%, but we are making an amber beer, so going to like 15 is not really necessary. Give me a mild ale, please. Okay, I've accidentally picked two up, but sure, we can put that back in the freezer. Right, where are we going? Pour all of the yeast. That's not very scientific of you. Do I need, you know, more yeast? No, just one will do. See, easy, easy. No spillages, no spillages. There we go. Again, I don't know why we're doing it like from a height, like with some sort of child trying to make a cocktail. It's like, oh, I'm going to pour this drink from the highest possible point. You're just going to spill all your delicious beer. Right. Close the lid will prevent your beer from becoming contaminated. Yeah, you also don't want that. Sweet. Uh, use the calendar to wait for 15 days. No. I'm gonna wash my thing first. Can I, can I just... Can I do some washing please? Again, we have the slowest tap. Also, can't choose between hot and cold, I've noticed. Just water will do. Okay. Hold E to clean item. I forgot that was even a function. All right. Pour that all back into the sink. Okay, sure. I stop pouring, hold to clean. There we go, that's much better. I'd rather not store this in there. Let's 
put it back into the equipment cupboard. Can I stow? There we go. And in 15 days? Sure. There you go. We'll retrieve a bag of corn sugar from the ingredients cupboard. Corn sugar. Adjunct sugars. Use by many large commercial brewers is a cheap and reliably available food for the yeast. Okay. Add 150 grams. Oh, hang on a minute. Do I have to pick this up as... Oh, God. Can I weigh it out? Because it says 150. And this is a 500 gram bag. Do I have scales? Or do I have to eyeball it? Scales, kitchen? Cleaning equipment. Do we have... No. Apparently I do not have the scales to do this. Alright, in which case we will eyeball it. Pour into. Interesting that it says Mills poured when it's grammage. I don't know if this is a typo. I'm going to go for 150 grams poured. Easy. No, just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Stop pouring. Uh, the retrieve plastic barrel. Nope, hang on a second. Let me put the lid back on. Cleanliness is important. I do not want to be growing a bacterial colony in here. Delicious beer is what I want. Uh, what do we want? Retrieve plastic barrel small and a tube. Conditioning containers can be found here. Conditioning containers are used in the conditioning stage of brewing where the beer is carbonated. A sealable plastic barrel in which beer can be a uh, condition and from which it can be dispensed via tap once it's ready. To transfer your beer into the condition container, you'll need a tube. Uh, any old hose pipe will do. <laughs> you can find tubes in the flow category. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, washing tube. I'll take it. Then, drop this here. Uh, Rotate, pick up, remove lid. I just noticed that it has undissolved on here, but that's not a huge issue. Uh, place the bar on the lowest, oh, on a lower surface. That makes complete sense. Uh, let me put it here then, in front of you. Place the bar on the lower surface. Take the tube between the container tap and the top of the barrel. In a tube. Oh, this is very fancy. And the top of the barrel and open the tap. Oh, hang on a minute. Remove lid. Connect tube. There we go. Maybe. All right, it's, it's kind of clipping through the table, but that's fine. Yeah, that that's exactly how this was played out. By the way, why is my beard purple? <laughs> Uh, do 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 do. Right, let's just speed things up a little bit. There we go. So I, apparently, I still have seven hundred and two grams of undissolved sugar here. Right, let me remove the. Let me remove the tube, attached tube. Close the tap. Uh, attach the lid, please. Pick it up because we're not an animal. We'll put this on the table. Uh, close the barrel's lid, then wait 20 days. Leaving the lid on ensures the CO2 is not lost. Conditioning is another slow process. Use the calendar. Can I wash the tube? No. 
Can I wash this? Clean item. Perfect. Uh, you can go back in here. You can go back in here. Right, and we need to wait 20 days. Perfect. Taste and package your bear. Time for all your hard work to pay off. Bring the barrel to the taps and have a try. Uh, stow item. Taste bear. Taste bear? Any? Okay. That looks delicious. It's dark. Very dark. Okay, not super high carbonation, that's perfect. Slightly hazy, mm, okay. And it's a small batch. It's more malty and sweet, that makes sense. That's what we wanted. Oh my God, it's very malty and sweety. A little bit of fruit and spice. This is almost like a Christmassy bear. A little bit bitter, sure. Continue. Okay, it's pretty weak, honestly. 3.69. That might be because I had 700 grams of undissolved sugar in the bottom of, you know, the barrel when I transferred it. Contamination 5.5. The amount of off flavors in your beer. The lower the contamination, the higher the quality of the beer. Contamination can be reduced by good brewing process, such as leaving the lid off when boiling wort, so the unwanted chemicals can escape. For a full list, see the contamination article in Brewpedia. Yeah, the density versus water, this can help you also tell out the alcohol percentage, I believe. Original gravity, oh, it's just a comparison between before and after, sure. Okay, I get it. And this is how they calculate the alcohol percentage, sure. So it's 66% American IPA, 61% American Black Ale, then 59 Foreign Extra Stout, 59 Scottish Heavy, and 50% English Iron Mild. Oh, I love these little beer profile pages. Uh, the packaging screen is where you can name your finished beer. Choose its style and also design a label for the bottle. It's, it's the best game ever. No, beer name. We have to have a name. This is... It was kind of mildish, kind of dark. This is called... Oh, hang on. It was kind of Christmassy. It was a little bit spicy. Eh... Uh, this is Christmas. Actually, no, it wasn't Christmassy. That's full on, you know, cinnamons, berries, and so on and so forth. Honestly, overpowering. This was subtle spice. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Subtle spice. The the lesser known spice girl, subtle spice. Uh no. You are. Go on, I'll give you an Yeah, I'll give you an American black ale, sure. Bottle Belgian, that's all we have, sure. Glass Tulip, no. Not Weissen either, Nonic Pint. When British folks talk about drinking pints, this is the glass they're most likely thinking of. Therefore, expect to see classic styles like uh, pale ales, India pale ales, porters and stouts being served in them. Oh my God, I'm salivating at the thought of this. By the way, fill that up a little bit more. If I got, well, it's all right, if I went to the pub, I got this beer from the barkeep. I'd be like, excuse me, tapping the glass. Get it to the top. Like, there's a good, you know, mouthful missing there. And label maker. Right. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be complicated. A little rooster? No, we want spice. So you can have, like, something completely done for you. Subtle spice. Oh yeah, something, no that's, if I see a green label like this, I'm thinking, you know, mosaic hops. Maybe citrus. You know, what's warm and comfortable? A circle. The border. Uh, what is this doing? Nothing. Oh, I see. Yeah, make it really wide. Ah, I see what's going on, I think. Maybe? Metallic. 
Yeah, make it very metallic. Shiny, it has to stand out from the crowd. Uh, it doesn't need to be that rough. Colour. Uh, I'm trying to make white bears. Yeah, this is this is what we're talking about. This is what we wanted. Give me something a little bit. That's too red. I wanted a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Almost cinnamon looking. The texture. Hmm. Ah, this is fine. And confirm. <laughs> Illustration. Okay, this is just this is too much. Okay, we, we want... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Still a little bit, you know, spicy. Colour B. I don't see exactly what I'm changing here, but you know what? Let's make it dark. The shadow colour, don't need it. Did I not save that? Uh, did I... Dumb goof? Oh, I didn't save it. I, I don't goof. All right, well, let's quickly get this back to how we had it before. Uh, a little bit more this way. Yeah, that that's good. Confirm that. This was black. Confirm. Perfect. Then, get the text banner right. I see... This is changing nothing. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Did nothing. Text banner border two. No. Okay. This is what I wanted. I want to change the the writing now. That's the important thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Text. I mean, this isn't really texture. This looks like a pattern, but like a starry night. This is doing nothing. God damn it! Why can't I remember to save it? Uh, cock. Background. Confirm. Starry Night, confirm, confirm. Right, big name text. This isn't in black. There we go. Oh, isn't that not delicious looking? Libra Bold? No. No, I want it to be clear. I want someone to come along and be able to see this very clearly. Well, actually, maybe I can do this with... Can I increase the font, please? I can do everything else. Color. Scale. Yes. Sort of spice. I want you to be shiny. I want you to stand out, baby. The amplitude. Sure. Max amplitude. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's never touch those buttons again. Volume text. Okay, we have to put this into, you know, like yellow or something. Otherwise, I think the FDA are going to get a little bit annoyed that I've used black font on a black background. Uh, that we've done already. Volume. Beer style text. This can be in white as well. There we go. And you can be Libra. The alcohol percentage, probably the most important thing to be able to see. There you go. 3.7%. Very clear, very easy to see. Okay, this is good enough for me. Confirm. Return to workshop. A beer must be... Oh my god, all the achievements. <laughs> when you're ready, advance the next season. Congratulations on brewing your first beer. Feel free to experiment further. When ready, move to the front door to advance the next season. Can I, can I drink this? 
Display bottle, subtle spice. No, I know where you go. Oh, baby. Can I rotate you a little bit? There we go. Oh, my God. It's a cold, rainy day. Oh, sit down. I, I don't know if there's a, a crouch or something. You take your shoes off. You remember you forgot to flick the light on. Flick the lights on. You come in here. Obviously, you know, there's no sunlight. It's, it's dark. And you're like, oh, let me turn on the fire. Get out the logs. Put the logs in there. Little matches, you know, a little bit of kindling or something. Do a little bit of fire poking. It's like, oh, that's nice and warm now. Ooh, rubbing my hands together. And you're like, oh, God. We don't have a TV, so all I can do now is drink for my amusement. And you head over here, and you see Subtle Spice, and you're like, you know what? My outer body is warming up. Let's warm up my inner body, too. And I open that bottle. I take it into the kitchen, get my bottle opener, my trusty, lucky bottle opener, Throw the top in the bin, back in the wingback armchair, and just Nirvana. That's where we are. Anyway, let's try and brew a beer. Not tutorial. Uh, yeah, advance next season. This will end the current season. You'll lose any beers you're in the process of brewing. But finished beers, conditioned, uh, conditioned containers that have been through the packaging process will be ineffective. Right, we're done. Brewers Quarterly. Greetings, Brewer. Do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I sent you a copy of Brewers Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brewers, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and, last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to... Uh, your popularity a brewer's service are always in demand and jobs are a great way to earn an income whilst increasing your brewing mastery why not give one a, a go sign Jeff with the worst signature ever Jeff I appreciate that's probably what you wrote as a child but you know let's fancy that thing up a little bit this seems like the easy signature to ever forge all right continue at the start of each season, you'll find new jobs, recipes, and articles in the Brewers Quarterly. These will be automatically added to your journal and Brewpedia, which will subsequently grow as you progress through the game. There'll be two new jobs every season, each offering rewards such as beer tokens, everyone loves beer tokens, mastery, and sometimes special items. You're free to complete one, both, or neither. It's up to you. Although for this part of the tutorial, you'll need to complete at least one. Each job comes with its own set of requirements that need to be met by your beer in order to complete the job. They also have an optional bonus requirement that grants extra rewards if met. Okay. Track one of the jobs by selecting the track job button. Ah, down here. So, they want a small batch size. They want to use dark malt extract bonus requirement. SRM is at least 20. Or IBU is at least 20. They want a local brand... Uh, a local band, sorry. Wish to mark the release of their first record. A space-themed concept album with a beer. As dark as the depths of the universe. Uh, quarterly readers are invited to submit an appropriate dusky brew. Jeff's tip. The recipe for American Stout Extract is ideal for the job. As it uses dark malt extract. And this gives me a bonus. Mastery. Beer tokens and... Mastery. This one gives me a bottle design, the long neck. Ah, Australians would love a long neck. Uh, you want American Pale Ale? No, we're going to do... Hang on, sorry, you want it? Organisers of a local food festival are looking for a special beer to celebrate this year's theme of sensational citrus. God damn it, you wanted the citra IPA, don't you? And welcome submissions from quarterly readers. Uh, you know what, we'll try and do both, but let's do this one first. Uh, now that you've got a job in mind, let's pick up a recipe. Okay. Oh, select the recipes tab. There'll be usually two new recipes in each issue of the Brewers Quarterly, which are automatically added to your collection of recipes in your journal. Each recipe shows the required equipment and ingredients, the steps involved in the estimated final stats of the beer. 
When doing a job, you'll usually want to pin a recipe that matches the job's requirements. For example, if the job requires a certain ingredient, you should find a recipe that contains it. Pinned recipes will also appear on the hood so you can easily follow the steps while brewing. Pin a recipe. Change the page to see the second recipe. Okay. So this one is... I, I can't see exactly what this one is because the stuff is in the way. You're, oh, you're a pale ale. You're an American stout. Didn't I say I was making an American stout? So I want this one. Pin it. Pin recipes like track jobs can be changed at any time. You can do this in the recipe station, uh, sorry, sections in the Brewers Quarterly or your journal. Each issue of the Brewers Quarterly also includes beer related articles, which are automatically added to the brew period. The brewpedia even. Great for expanding your brewing knowledge. When you're ready to start, select the catalogue. This is where you can buy the ingredients needed for your pinned recipes. The catalogue is where you can buy brewing equipment and ingredients as well as cosmetics to decorate your workshop. More items will unlock as you progress through the game, so it's worth visiting every season. The pinned recipes tab is a useful way to view the items required for your currently pinned recipe. Here you can see all the equipment and ingredients required for your currently pinned recipe, including those you already own. Any that you don't own can be bought immediately or added to your shopping cart. When you've purchased all the required ingredients for your recipe, return to the workshop. It's time to get brewing! Okay, so I own all of these, right? So I need this. I need 15 beer tokens, that's the currency. If only the world existed that all currency was beer tokens. Fuck the pound. <laughs> Get, fuck the dollar as well. Uh, euros, pff, I spit on euros. Beer tokens though, ooh. Right, we also need cluster. Ruggle green. We've got the yeast and we need a dark malt extract. I think that's everything I need now I've got. Yes. Adios. And adios, right. Oh, delivery box. Uh, unpack your purchase items. Please. Oh, there we go. Uh, store all, please. Thank you very much. Brew a beer that fulfills the job's requirements. Okay. We can do this, right? You want 21 liters of water to a container. We'll do it. Clean the item first, just to make sure. You know what? There we go, cleaned it very well. Remove the lid, tap. Uh, should probably be hovering over this. 21 liters. Uh, my bad, please stop. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit more. Ease it. Ease it. That'll do. That'll do. There we go. Uh, you go on there now. And we start boiling you. And I'll attach the lid again to get you nice and hot. So we've done... Wait. Does that not say it's done? Is it because... Hang on a minute. Uh, sorry, you're going to burn your handsies a little bit here if you're not careful. Are you really getting arsy with me because it's 20.93? Oh, maybe it just doesn't track it. Okay. I was just checking to see if it would track on the right side. Uh, add malt extract to the brew container. Dark malt extract. That one. And how much did we need? Did they say? Three kilos. Man, this is going to be a really dark bear. Uh, pour her in. Oh. 
Oh, it's so thick. So viscous. Every last drop. There we go. Stop. Uh, you, uh, you can go back in the fridge. Then I need the steepables. Where was the steepables? The hair? What do I need? Uh, black patent. Is it in here? No. They're over here, right? There you go. How much? 800 grams, holy moly. There we go. Whack this bad boy in there. Uh, add uh, heat, 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 heat. And we need to get this to 100 degrees. Then remove steeple grain from container. Okay, so you can take them off ourselves. Right, I see. Uh, we've done that, and we're doing that now. Okay. Get this boiling. Okay, you are basically there. There we go. Then we remove it and we need to add hops to the boil. Hops to boil. Hops to boil. Ah, cluster and ruggle green. There's ruggle. Actually, is that the same? No, ruggle green is different from ruggle. And you need how much, sorry? 50 grams of Ruggle Green, 20 of Cluster. Give me 50. Then you want 20 of this. Okay, so we have everything that we need. Are you at boiling yet? Not quite. Let me wait a little bit longer. Get you all the way. There we go. Also, I forgot to put the lid on you. Well, that's fine. Let's remove the steepable now. Then, add hops to boil for 15 minutes. In, and one, in. And what I've got in my hand right now is binnable, I think. And you are Ruggle Green and Cluster. So 15 minutes, so 12.50 I need to wait till now. Okay, so Piet, Piet. Oh, Rubel Green was only, fuck. Rubel Green was only meant to be for 10. Oh, uh, okay, it's got ruggled up a little bit too much then. My bad. Remove hops from the brew container. Cool water to 20. So they normally do this over day, right? We did it over a day. Well, this is going to be a little bit too ruggly for some people, I think. So you should be at 20 now. You are. Transfer to fermentation container. Not conditioning. That's the boy I want. We'll do this on the table again, because we're not a savage. I need to remove your lid. I need to take you. Pour you into there. Do it from high elevation. Max speed. There we go. Get every last little drop out. Wonderful. And let me just put you there for a second. And lid you on again. Add yeast to fermentation. So cal is what they want. Yeast is in the fridge. Freezer. 
So cow. And how much did you want? It's just a packet, right? Oh, 150 grams. Again, this is in mil on here. Well, I'll forgive you. Just this one time. Quickly, before all the bacteria get in here. Get that yeast in there. And whack the lid back on. And ferment for... 15 days. And also, we're not an animal. Give it a, a five-piece wash. Perfect. And you know what? Put it back in the cupboard. We don't need it anymore. 15 days. I like the idea that we're just stood in this kitchen for 15 days straight, watching the container. Right. So we've done this now. Add other ingredients to the fermentation container. Corn sugar. Retrieve it. And you want 200 grams of this stuff. Oops. Put that down. Pour into. Easy. 200 grams. Easy. Just a little bit. Just be careful. You can always put a little bit more in, but it's hard to take some out. That's what Mama used to say. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Throw this back in the cupboard. Put the lid back on you. Right, I'm going to leave this to dissolve a little bit more. Can I shake it? Does it shake it? Can I, can I pick it up and run around with it? Is this helping? And then you want me to transfer to conditioning container. Uh, let me grab my conditioning container. Let me grab my trusty hose pipe. And you know what? I'm going to wait a little bit of time. Let's get this dissolving. Okay. Turns out it's going to take an hour, so let's not do that. Where's the end? So the end is here. All right, we'll do it this way around then. Remove the lid. Connect the tube. Connect the tube. Open the tap. Glug, glug, glug. The, the finest purple ale is going into here. Maybe. Maybe. Hello. Tubes rely on gravity. I know. Uh, just... Pick it all up a second. Let's do it here. Maybe it was just too far away. Can I rotate you? I don't want to rotate this. I don't want to rotate this. I want to rotate the thing here. There you go. Uh, there we go. That should do it right. There we go. I, I guess there was just a little kink in the line or something. And we had to remove it. Sure. Perfect. Okay, take the tube out. Put the lid back on. And put that bad boy there. This bad boy comes over here. Gets a nice little cleaning. Obviously the five piece. What do you mean pour into? Is there anything in here? No. Can I clean you? Nope. You go back away then. Uh, and now condition for 21 days. No problemo. Alright, we're approaching the middle of summer now. Taste and package the bear. Oh, my favourite part. Do 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 do.
Okay, it's unbelievably dark. <laughs> Not surprising. It's pretty well balanced considering I fucked up. Aroma flavor notes. Chocolate, coffee, charcoal, a little bit of bread, and that's about it. Okay, fairly strong. Very bitter. I wonder why. 8.5% contamination as well. You are the recipe match. An American stout. Sun drops can require you to brew a certain style of beer. To meet that requirement, be sure to select the style here. There will need to be one of the top five styles to match your beer. Once you've done packaging your beer, you can submit it to the job or return to the workshop. If you choose the latter, the finished condition and container will be placed in the keg rack or cellar for later use. It's this one, thank you. No, you're not called Brewmaster. You're called Galactic Shock. Because you're going to be shocked by how fucking bitter this thing is. Uh, we, you have to go in a Belgian bottle. That's fine. No. And label maker. Right. Can I... These aren't textures, god damn you. Let's have this little weird shield on it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Then, the, the label, cancel, the label template, the, the illustration itself. Can I change the illustration? Hmm. Or do I have to do anything you've made the label lost? Background, background, text, banner. How do I change that little fucking acorn thing off it? All right, let's just take this slowly then. Order. Sure, give me more lines. Ah, illustration. There it is, it's under texture, of course. Honestly, oh my god, this is perfect. Galactic shock, who wouldn't be shocked by a rabbit jumping in front of the moon? I certainly would be. Right, can I change the colors in any way? Does it do anything? We're just changing the moon color. I want my moon to be a little bit whiter. A little bit whiter? That'll do. Will it be? Is it more moon colour? It, it, I think it is. Uh, it's basically not doing anything for me. Not enough that I care. This is... Oh, we have to make it metallic as well because I think they were like a rock band, right? There you go. Metallic, shiny label. Confirm. Uh, again, the text is going to have to be in white otherwise you're not going to see this and it's going to be in like heavy metal writing american stout confirm you need to be in white libra is fine actually hang on a minute whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. it's not on the label properly there you go. Front and center. I was 0.1% off, by the way. God damn it. It was the perfect beer otherwise. 6.8%. Uh, okay. Beer sounding, we've got that on there. Beer name text, right. You are going to be like a star. I want you to be bold and... Okay, not that bold. Okay, yeah, yellow and yellow is not a great idea. Sure. How about red? Galactic shock. Or green. Ooh, that's kind of shocking. Hmm. Or a pink? Yeah, that's... You know what? I dig the pink. Libra bold, no. Galactic shock. Confirm. And obviously this has to be humongous. That's too humongous. Can I make it thicker, please? That's what the amplitude is meant to be doing. 
Sure, this is good enough. Galactic shock. Uh, volume text has to be in white as well. And we, we obviously need to move this as well. It's in the wrong place. Okay, let's not, let's not confuse the people. Let's just stick that. There we go. Perfect. Again, you were one mil away from the perfect. God damn you. And I think this is... This is good enough for me, I think. All right, confirm it. Galactic Shock. Submit beer. To submit a beer to a job, it must match the requirements. Once the beer is submitted, it will be lost. But you'll get to keep a bottle of it for display. There are several ways to submit beers to jobs. On the jobs pages in your journal, by interacting with the finished conditioning container, and by opening the cellar, where you can also view all your past brews. So, this meets dark matter. It has an SRM of at least 20. It's small. It has dark malt extract. Submit it. Congratulations on completing your first job and finishing the tutorial. What next? Well, that's up to you. You could try out the second job, experiment with other brews, or even decorate your workshop using build mode. When you're ready, head to the front door to advance the next season. And next stage of the story. Good luck, Brewer. Okay. I have to check out what build mode is. But first and foremost, we have to get you. Next to Subtle Spice. Galactic Shock. Can, can you please? There we go. Oh my god. Beautiful. We do need a few different, like, different bottle types. Would be fantastic. Okay, build mode. Open item menu. We can get tables, we can get chairs, we can get a new bin, we can, oh, we can get a rug. A red patterned rug with diamonds? Do I have to buy it? I don't want any seasonal items. Oh, I guess I have to buy this shit, or move it around. Oh, I can move stuff I've got around. I see. All right, exit building mode. Can I buy stuff from the brewery's quarter? I don't know. It'd be the perfect game if I can build some other stuff. Wait. Uh, wait till next season. We're not going to do this in parallel yet, I guess. Because what I want to do is have beer kegs on every little corner of this table. And finally re realise my dream of being a master brewer anyway i hope you enjoyed this quick look at brewmaster it's on steam right now if you want to check it out i think it was like 12 pounds there or thereabouts 13 pounds it's on a small discount right now seems really fun if you're interested in brewing beers or you want to learn how to because stuff on here seems very reasonable for when i brewed beers so check it out anyway thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time Goodbye.